What is up, my boys? Welcome back to another build video, guys. Before I say anything about the video, I would like to thank each and every one of you for the support that you are giving me. It's only been a month from my first upload, and the support is honestly brutal. Thank you so so much. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here for watching my videos. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much, brother. I really love you. If you're not, brother, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. The content that is coming is insane. So subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. Okay, my boys, for the Mike Tyson build, we are using the Alchemist with the Frenzy Dust. Increase to our melee attack speed by 20% and movement speed by 15%. And Juggernaut become nearly unstoppable, gaining 3 stacks of Bulwark. If I'm not mistaken, that's 18% damage reduction, 15% increased movement speed and melee attack speed, and also 50% increased melee damage. Guys, this is huge. And the cherry on the top is that we are getting our stagger level reduced by one as well. For the armor, we are using the Leto Mark 1 armor, and I will explain why shortly. For our relic, we are using the Crystal Heart, lots of healing and damage reduction. Our relic fragments are 10% melee crit chance, 20% melee crit damage, and 15% melee damage. For our amulet, we are using the Matriarch's Insignia. Increases melee damage by 35% and causes all successful melee attacks restore 10 stamina. Our first ring is Fey Warrior Ring. Flat increase to our melee damage by 15%. Our next ring is Haymaker's Ring. This ring increases our melee damage by 0.2% for every one point of armor Acumbrance and Cumbrance. Ga we are pairing this ring with the Meteor Shard Ring. Increases Incumbrance by 50. So the reason why Leto Mark 1 is good for this build is because it's heavier than the Leto Mark 1. So as you can see, weight 13, weight 15, weight 45, weight 44, and so on. Guys, we have 135 weight times 0.2, that means plus 27% to our melee damage. This is a very big number. And our last ring is the Almighty Probability Court, flat increase by 30% to our critical damage. 
Guys, the weapons for this build are not that important. What's important are the mods and the mutators that we are using on our guns. On our long gun, we are using the Song of Aphir so we can stagger enemies, slow them down and beat them down to death. We also use feedback to have more uses of our Song of Aphir. On our handgun, we are using Boar in combination with the Time Wave, which slows enemies. This way, if we don't have the Song of Aphir available, we can use the Boar, slow down the enemy, fist him down what for big numbers of damage and for our melee weapon we are using the knuckle dusters guys the mutator on the melee weapon is very important so we are using the overdrive melee critical hits increase melee critical chance and critical damage by five percent for 15 seconds stacking up to five times that means that we can have 25 percent increased critical chance and critical damage and on top of that every time we are critting we are dealing 20% additional damage on that hit. That's a lot of stuff going on for only one mutator. This mutator is super good, hands down the best for melee weapon builds. These are our stats, melee damage plus 92%. Our total DR is at 67%, which is not bad at all, considering that everything we use in our kit is all damage. And for our traits, we are using Fortify, Vigor, Regrowth, Expertise level 9, Bloodstream, Bark Skin, and siphoner. The concoctions that I choose to have are 30 armor, 25 health, 6.66% health, stamina and movement speed and 50% gray health conversion plus 1 health regen per second. So our alternatives. There were many cases when I was playing that I had to roll. When I need to swap something to roll I'm swapping the meteorite shard for the blight steel ring so that way we are not losing that much damage guys we still have 82 percent melee damage and we can also roll my recommendation is to keep it this way guys because dodging is very important and also with the blight steel ring you can backdash very easily very fast and very effectively another alternative is going for the world's edge when we are facing enemies who are airborne slap that overdrive on the world's edge bro what are you talking about man change the black steel ring for the dragstone pearl and we are golden and if you still want to dodge you will change the fey warrior ring because this ring gives us 17 percent but this ring gives us 15 percent so that's all my boys i hope you enjoyed the video subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you on the next one.